Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. Where's my Draw With Rob book? Oh my gosh, I forgot my Draw With Rob book to show you. Hang on, here you go, this one will do. <laughs> Let's start again. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. There it is. I forgot to pick my Draw With Rob book up to show you the little logo. With me, <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? With me, Rob, bit of, there I am in my studio this is the draw with rob amazing animals book which is very appropriate for today's video because we are drawing a truly amazing animal but before we get into onto that i should introduce myself a bit more so as i said my name is as i eventually said <laughs> my name is rob bidolf you might have seen some of my picture books before this is my newest picture book it is called the blue footed booby maybe you have drawn a booby or two with me in the past this is the paperback book. I've only just got a copy of this. This is out very, very soon at the time of recording. And this book is all about, um, well, there's a lot of red-footed boobies in the book. Let's go to the beginning, shall we? Where, where are we? There we go, look. Lots of red-footed boobies. And did you know that red-footed boobies are all brilliant bakers? They should all go on the Great British Bake Off? Well, now you do. So you learn things from these videos, right? Um, <laughs> they're all brilliant bakers. Look at those lovely cakes. But look, Desmond here, he makes his speciality is a frangipan tart. But look, oh, the frangipan tart is missing. It's disappeared. He left it to cool in his window. It's disappeared. And look, there's lots of blue footprints leading away from the scene of the crime. So look, Desmond goes off and he follows. He picks up Maureen on the way. Maureen helps him. Pretty soon, there's like 10 of these red-footed boobies all tracking the blue-footed, the blue footprints to see if they can find somebody. And look, eventually, find the blue footed booby and they have to solve the crime. <sighs> I spent a long time talking about that book didn't I? Right, maybe you've seen my chapter books, the Peanut Jones books. This is the second in the series, it's called The Twelve Portals. Um, dear listener, I've just finished writing book three and I'm about to start doing all the illustrations again at the time of recording, which is no mean task because look, oh my gosh, I really went crazy with the illustrations here. I'm just going to show you this one. The Venus de Milo <laughs> with Peanut Jones popping out of the plinth underneath her. So there's a lot of illustrations in this book, lots of short chapters. So if you are slightly, you're finding it difficult to read chapter books because there's a lot of writing. This one might be the one for you because look, I do lots of nice short chapters with lots of illustrations. And it's a really fun story, I promise. So check that one out. This one here was my very first picture book and it's actually a creature that appears in this picture book that we're going to be drawing today because this book's all about a penguin called penguin blue who um uh one day she he or she i don't actually specify whether penguin blue is a he or she interestingly i i think of him as a him actually but it could be either he goes out flying his kite look, on a windy day and he ends up getting blown away across the sea and then there's one scene towards the end of the book let's see if i can find it there we go See, there's some dolphins in the sea there, but there is also a killer whale, otherwise known as an orca, and they are just, I just think they're such beautiful creatures, regardless what you think of their eating habits, <laughs> because they don't really, uh, they don't muck about when it comes to eating stuff, they are very beautiful creatures, but I thought today that I would show you guys how to draw a killer whale or an orca. Does that sound like a good plan? I think it does. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. You're going to need a pen or a pencil. Um, in terms of colours, actually, you don't need that many colours because as you just saw from my drawing there, killer whales are pretty much black and white. That is it. I might use a little bit of blue here and there for the shading later on, but you don't really, really need colours for this one because um, we are going to stick to the black. I know usually I say go for it, do whatever colours you like, and in theory I guess you could do a blue and white killer whale or a red and white killer whale, but I am going to stick to black and white. So this is how Draw With Rob works, just in case you've never done one of these videos with me before. Lots of people say to me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say that's nonsense, everybody can draw. It's just some people need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. And that's where I come in. Because I am going to show, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break this drawing of a killer whale down into little, pardon the pun, bite-sized pieces, okay? So I will draw a little bit here on my piece of paper, then you can pause the video, you draw a bit. Then I will draw some more, then you draw, then I draw, 
you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. <laughs> Why do I do that? And uh, at the end, you are going to have a lovely drawing of a killer whale that you are very proud of. I promise. Okay? Right. Stop talking, Rob. Start drawing. The first thing, guys, that I want you to do. Um, right. If you imagine, get your piece of paper. Go right to the middle of your piece of paper. Then we are going to come down a little bit and to the left. To about there, okay? That's where we're going to start our drawing today. And what I want you to do is a curve. We're going to start by going left, but then we're going to pretty soon curve around to the right, like this. And let's go over to about here, and then we're just going to curve up a bit, like that. So a funny curve. Whoop. It's a slightly tricky start, I guess. I always find that at the beginning of drawings, when you've got just a white piece of paper, it's quite hard to know whereabouts on your piece of paper to start your drawing. You sort of have to, in some ways, I find I have a little picture in my head of where the rest of my drawing is going to go. And that kind of informs where I put my first mark. But it's always slightly nerve wracking, isn't it, when you have a blank piece of paper putting on that first mark. Because once you've started, that's it. You're away with your drawing and there's sort of no changing it from then on. But don't you worry, we are going to do a really nice job of this drawing. The next thing I want you to do is, we are going from the end of our sort of swirly whirly curl there, I want you just to come out a little bit at a slight angle. So there's kind of a sharp turn there, but only a centimeter or so, something like that. Okay, then we're gonna curve up. Nice smooth curve up and around. In fact, I might make that slightly pointier curve. Don't worry if you have a thick line like I do there because we're going to do some, remember I said we're going to do lots of black colouring in so we will be covering up these sort of thick lines in a minute. Then what I want you to do, we're going to do a big curve now, we're going to come all the way up and around and we're going to head back down to almost where we started, okay? So I'm going to come up like that. I'm sort of adjusting as I go, I'm sort of looking at the bigger picture, making sure I've got this roughly right because I know we're drawing a killer whale. I want to get the shape of our killer whale's body roughly right. But do you know what? There isn't really a right answer to this. So if yours is a lot taller or a lot thinner, it really doesn't matter because killer whales do come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. And again, the good thing about it is I can, I can go back in and I can tweak this. So if I want mine just to go up a bit higher here, I can do that because in a minute I'm going to colour everything in black. So it's going to kind of disguise it. So yeah, I'm going to go a bit higher, I think, with my killer whale. Like that. So it looks like I've done a really, really big thick line at the top, but all will become clear quite soon. So that is the start, the outline of our killer whale's body. Now killer whales, so shall I tell you a couple? I've got quite a few killer whale or orca facts for you. Shall I tell you like a very important one? A killer whale has zero predators. That means there are no other creatures in the sea who eat them. <laughs> the only, well, actually, when I say zero predators, that's not quite true because they do have one predator, and that predator is common to a vast number of animals, and that predator is us humans. We are the killer whale's predators. They do get hunted, unfortunately, um, by humans sometimes. Um, but apart from that, they are at the top of the food chain. Everyone in the sea is scared of them. <laughs> right, let's do our killer whale's tail now. So this is the body, right? This is going to be our killer whale's nose here. We're going to do the little sort of mouth area there. And so this bit down here is our killer whale's tail. Now whale tails are very distinctive. Some of you, you might have drawn the dolphin with me. What number was the dolphin? I'm looking at my little chart now. This always takes me ages because I can never find it. There we go, number 39 was the dolphin and I think I did the dolphin in a similar pose to that or maybe you drew the world record whale with me way back in 2020 that was the drawing where we broke the world record for the largest ever online art class if you didn't do it you can still watch the video it's video number 20 go back and have, have a look but that had a similar kind of whale tail and this is how we do the whale tail the first thing I want you to do we're gonna just come going to do two little lines coming out of the side of each of those end points there and that's going to be the top part of our tail okay then we're going to curve round and in like that on that side 
We're going to do this on the same, the other side too, because obviously this tail is very symmetrical. So we're going to come in. Oh, I just heard Ringo barking in the garden. I wondered how long that would take him. Stop barking, Ringo. Ringo, I think Ringo would like killer whale. Well, he probably wouldn't like killer whales if he was swimming in the sea and one came up to him. But he would have an affinity with them because he is black and white too. He's sort of like um, inverse colour. So whereas killer whales are mainly black with a few white bits, he's mainly white with a few black bits. And that probably is all he shares with his killer whales because he is not a killer dog. Trust me, he is a wimp. Right. Um, the next thing I want you to do is from this end here, we're going to do just a little kind of sort of u-shape i guess like that let's do the same on this side now remember you can see my drawing is far from perfect i always tell children there is no such thing as a perfect drawing in fact it's these little mistakes and imperfections that give our drawing character so if you feel like yours doesn't look exactly like mine don't worry about it mine is not perfect at all you do your own thing trust me that is the best way to draw and it, you will get the best results you know you, you everybody you can't help but put a bit of yourself into your drawing and sometimes yourself is little mistakes like i've made there so don't worry about it you don't have to be perfect okay so once you've done those two little nodules we're going to come across from here and we're just going to go up in the middle of the tail like that on both sides we're going to come in go up and that is the very distinctive whale tail shape two little nodules and a sort of dip in the middle okay there we go right now i'm going to do something here which is going to look on look, look slightly odd but trust me it's going to come together well because i'm going to draw our killer whales fin the big fin here and it's going to go here okay we're going to do it coming down like that they're quite big because they're very powerful creatures killer whales they are well, I, I, can't, I don't know how big, they're, they're huge, these things, several tons they weigh. And do you know what, they live for between 50 and 90 years. That is a long time for an animal, trust me. Um, uh, and they are so powerful. As I said, they have no um, predators in the sea. They've got, I'm gonna come back to their teeth in a minute. We're actually not gonna draw their teeth, I'm gonna tell you now. They've got 45 teeth. Each of them is like about three inches long, right? Really sharp, really sharp teeth shaped. And uh, they're shaped that way because, um, how can I put it? They need to rip flesh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they don't even need to do that because they can. apparently they can swallow a seal or a sea lion whole in one go. Oh, gone. Wow. <laughs> so these things are big. And because they're such big creatures, they need really big fins to kind of propel them through the ocean. So what we're gonna do about here, so sort of halfway along your killer whale's body, I want you to draw like a really big U-shape, but slightly, maybe slightly pointed U-shape, like that. And this is the bit that I said was going to be unusual, because I've gone across the line of our orca's belly, like that. And I don't usually do that, we usually kind of think ahead, because I'd be colouring that in. And if I was colouring that in, say, red, I'd have a black line going across it. But because we're colouring it in black, or whatever colour pen you're using, we're going to colour over that later and it's going to be fine. But the reason I wanted to do that now is because I'm going to use this fin shape to draw in some of the pattern, the very distinctive pattern on our killer whale. Because they have a lot of black in the sort of upper half and they have sort of a white belly with some strange kind of like blobby marking shapes. I was doing some research before I did this video and I found out why they are coloured like that. It's very interesting. It's all to do with them wanting to eat stuff. A lot of their existence is about them wanting to eat stuff, I've found. But the reason that the backs of the whale are black and the stomach is white is all to do with camouflage, disguise, okay? Because if you are a sea creature and you're swimming near the top of the surface of the sea and you look down through the sea and there's a killer whale beneath you, because it's black swimming underneath you, you won't really see it because everything looks dark at the bottom of the sea, right? But if you are a creature that swims right at the bottom of the sea and you look up and there was a killer whale swimming above you everything when you look up out of the sea is quite light because you're looking towards the light aren't you so it's sort of white so that's why they have white bellies so if you're looking at them from below you can't really see them because they're white but if you're looking at them from above you can't see them because they're black so they are sneaky they're able to kind of sneak up on things and eat them in one gulp like a seal or a sea lion um, so there you go I am teaching you so much today, aren't I? Right. What I want you to do now is from this sort of nose 
port part here that we did. Do you remember we sort of did that sharp turn, didn't we? I want you to carry that line along, following the shape of your body, but we're just gonna meet that fin there. Then we're gonna carry on through. We're gonna carry this pattern through. Now we're gonna only go to about there, because this is where the killer whales pattern gets interesting. Because what it does, it sort of comes up like that. Then we go round in a sort of blobby shape like that. It's very distinctive. It goes in again like that. You might need to do some pausing here to follow me. And then we're going to curve around again. And then finally, we're going to follow the rat, follow the body round, and we're going to disappear back in like that. So it has this sort of blob. Blob, blob. That's the only way I can describe it, a blob shape on the belly of our killer whale. We will come back to that in a minute when we do some colouring. Now we're going to do the rear fin. So this is the front fin. The rear fin is going to be just behind. So we're going to do a similar U shape, very slightly smaller, maybe slightly at a slightly different angle, like that. In fact, we can colour this one in. It's going to be a black fin. Colour this one in. It's the first bit of colouring we're going to do. I've got my nice brush pen, so colouring is very, very quick. Okay, so that is going to be our killer whale's rear fin. Let's give them some more of this distinctive patterning they have. Now, they have a sort of white patch here. Now, sometimes this white patch is kind of behind the eye, but when I'm doing, we're doing a sort of cartoony killer whale, right? So I'm going to take a few design liberties here, and I'm going to draw a nice big white sort of egg-shaped patch. Let's do it about, we'll start here. I'm going to do a sort of big egg-shaped patch. It's going to go past the fin, stretch out like that. It's sort of like a flattened egg shape, like that, okay? And I am actually going to draw our... I'm going to change pens. Let's go to my thinner pen for this because there's a little bit of detail. I'm going to draw a circle at this end of that egg, like that, because I'm going to draw our eye within that white patch. As I said, quite often the patch is behind the eye, but in this instance, I just think it'll be a little bit neater for our character if I do it inside. So there we go, a little circle. And then we're gonna do this this whale looking straight at us. Now I've told you this before. If you want to make it look like your character is looking straight at us, you don't do the circle right in the center when, it's a, when, it, when you're drawing your character from the side. You do it slightly left of center and it will make it look like it's looking right at you. It's one of those weird things, I don't really understand why. That is, but it just works. Now, killer whales don't have eyebrows. Now this, okay, they're called killer whales or orcas, right? And that's because they kill stuff, okay? <laughs> As I said earlier, they have no predators. They, you know, 45 sharp teeth. They swallow seals whole, all of that stuff. But my killer whale here is, I want him to be quite friendly. So I'm gonna give them an eyebrow. <laughs> now they don't really have eyebrows, but I'm gonna do an eyebrow right up here. I'm going to do it in a nice kind of curved shape, sort of curvy sausage shape like that, just to make him or her slightly more friendly looking. <laughs> okay. Now this drawing isn't going to make total sense until we've coloured it all in. Okay. And when we do, you're going to be like, wow, that is so cool. Can you see what we haven't drawn yet? There's one major part of the orca that we haven't drawn yet. What do you think it is? That's right, it's the dorsal fin. They have a great big dorsal fin, a really large black dorsal fin on their backs, a bit like a shark's fin, but even bigger actually. And so when they're swimming at the surface, you see them, they often, they hunt uh, They hunt in pods. Pod is the collective noun for whale, so they hunt in pods. And they use, when they're hunting, they use sound waves. I don't quite know how they do it, but they use sound waves. <laughs> Goes off through the sea and that tells them where the seals are. And so they hunt in pods, often quite near the surface, sort of doing that thing where they sort of go through the water like that, look very cool, and their dorsal fins stick out of the water. So we need to do a lovely, big, pointy dorsal fin. So about here, the midpoint of our whale's back, I want you to draw a curved line, quite big, like that, coming out of the middle of the back. Then we are just gonna turn around, not in a point, I'm gonna do a slightly rounded point, and then we're gonna come back down in another curve like this and then that curve sort of just goes into the back now because we're going to color this in black you might want to tweak your design here i'm going to make mine slightly fatter that way a bit like i did on the back and at various other points of my whale i'm sort of tweaking it as i go 
but that looks pretty good to me. And that is the outline of our killer whale. Um, now, I am going to colour mine in. and Remember what I told you, this is the bit where it's going to make sense. I'm going to colour everything in black. Apart from we're going to leave that belly, I'm even going to colour that fin, and we're going to leave the white there of the eye, I'm going to leave the eyebrow and leave this bit here, but everything else is going to be black. I'm going to, it won't take me that long, but to spare you watching me do all this colouring, I am going to go into super speed mood. So I'll see you back here in probably about 10 seconds or so, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. And there we go. There is my coloured in killer whale. What do you think? It looks a bit, I don't know if you can see, there's some light reflecting. I'm gonna just turn, I've got a big light shining on this. Just turn that off for a second, there we go. That's better, isn't it? There we go, it's kind of flatter now. And what do you think? Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean when I told you that once it was all kind of coloured in, that's when it would make more sense. I'm just going to smooth this bit. I noticed there was some wobble. You see, I think that's the thing that happens sometimes. When you've finished your drawing, when you've done all the colouring, the good thing about drawing is you can keep going in and tweaking it if you want to make a little correction, kind of here and there. So I just want to smooth out the line of my killer whales back. But actually, I think, I'm just going to do, do this because I don't want to smudge it, so I'm going to go onto the side. Use this other pen here just to smooth out that nose area. We'll do a really good job of that. There we go. And um, yeah, you can keep tweaking your drawing, especially one that is mainly kind of black and white like this. But I'm really, really pleased with this killer whale. What do you think? I hope you're pleased with yours too. Let's just do a bit of smoothing here. Now, what can I tell you? So when I did the coloring, I told you it was the majority of it was black, but look, I've just used a little bit of gray around here just to give my killer whale a little bit of form okay so I just did some sort of dark grey shading just on the bottom there and in there in fact if I get I've got an even darker grey somewhere let's have a look at this Where's my, it's almost black in fact I've got so many pencils over here that you can't see but I'm just gonna go a little bit of dark grey in there just to lift there you go it just lifts that fin slightly forward from the rest of our whale's body so a really minimal bit of colouring there but a lovely bright green eye because I think and you can do any colour I think when I did it in let's have a look in my book at the whale that I drew in here there we go so that whale slightly smaller eye I did that time but I did it orange you see so that could be that can be a real point on your whale where you bring your own little bit of character to your whale drawing the colour of the eye but I actually think this one works really well in sort of a very limited black and white colour palette. I think it's really, really nice. Um, now, I haven't done any water or drips or anything like that around mine because I want to keep it nice and clean and simple. But you could colour in the background blue, add lots of bubbles, maybe add some other sea creatures. Maybe don't add a seal or a sea lion. <laughs> or if you do, make them look very, very nervous. Okay, because this killer whale probably couldn't help himself. He feels a bit peckish. Boom, boom, gone. <laughs> And the thing about killer whales is they live sort of in, you know, lots of animals, they sort of, they live in warm water or they live in really cold water. Killer whales, they kind of live in all the oceans, really. I mean, I don't think you're gonna find if you go down to South End or something, you won't find a killer whale in the sea down there, don't worry. But they do live everywhere because they move around a lot in their kind of pods. And as I said, they live to between 50 and 90 years. So they live a long time. So they roam the earth. <laughs> right. What, do I, what am I going to tell you to do now? That's right, you need to sign your drawing. I'm going to sign mine here. We're going to do a full name signing today. Why not? Or Rob Bidolf. Have I told you what my surname means before? I don't know if I have. So Bidolf, lots of people think um, it, it's quite an exotic sounding surname. Well, it's not really. It's, a, it's an Anglo-Saxon name. It's the Old English, okay, Bidolf, and it means wolf slayer <laughs> which is very cool isn't it ulf is anglo-saxon for wolf it means wolf slayer. some people think it means call the wolf or like you know cry wolf but the it seems to be when i've researched it lots of people say that it means wolf slayer which is like unbelievably cool it doesn't sound bit off doesn't sound like a very cool name but wolf slayer does doesn't it and the reason i'm telling you that is because um killer whales are known as the wolves of the sea so there we go something i've got in common with a killer whale. <laughs> 
Right, once you've signed your drawings, we are done. And I really want to see your pictures. Of course I do. So what you need to do, get somebody to take a picture of your drawing. And then if they post it on social media using this hashtag, draw with Rob. That way I will get to see it. Feel free to tag me in on Instagram or Twitter. If you're watching on Facebook, um, you can comment below this post with a picture of the drawing. I would love to see your drawings. Um, I think you're going to do me proud this week. I'm looking forward to see, seeing lots of excellent, characterful killer whale drawings. So I really, really do want to see them. So make sure you send them to me. What else can I tell you about? Um, yes, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure, make, sh make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn your notifications on. That way you'll get a notice when a new video pops up. Um, another thing you could do is subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, then you will get an email every time a new video comes out or I announce um, a live show or a new book, that kind of thing. You'll get it straight to your inbox and it's totally free. Just go... To this website here and sign up um, apart from that I don't know what else I have to tell you apart from I'm gonna be back very soon with another draw with Rob video in the meantime keep on drawing guys keep on oh do you know what there's something I was gonna tell you there is something I was gonna tell you now I know I got this drawing from this book blown away but the reason that I let's just say I have been drawing lots of undersea creatures for the past couple of months and that's because my brand new picture book which is coming out in September 2023 is set under the water now that is all I'm going to tell you for now if you are watching this video in late 2023 or 2024 you will already know what that book is that I'm talking about because you might even have a copy of it but at the time of recording I'm not allowed to tell you what it is yet but I am going to talk about it soon so keep an eye on my social media channels for a cover reveal and a title reveal of this new book but there is a couple of killer whales in this book so there you go you're getting an exclusive little preview via this video <laughs> i nearly forgot to tell you that <laughs> oh well i've told you now so anyway yes as i was saying i'm going to be back really soon with another video in the meantime i want you to keep those pencils sharpened keep on drawing keep on reading and take care of yourselves okay i'll see you very soon bye everyone everyone just when you thought you got rid of me here I am again popping up at the end of your video to annoy you <laughs> and I'm here today to tell you all about this the brand new draw with Rob activity book and it's called amazing animals and that's because it's full of loads of amazing animals it's true it really is we've got little ones like this guy here we have got whew, some really big ones we have got animals that live in the sea we have got animals that spend most of their time up in the sky and of course there's loads and loads of really really cute ones <laughs> um what's in the book i hear you ask well we have got loads and loads of really cool and quite tricky puzzles for you to do uh we've got some pages where i start the drawings off and you guys get to finish them we have got lots of really, really nice colouring pages for you to do too. And of course, it wouldn't be a Draw With Rob book without lots of exclusive, never before seen draw alongs. And I've got the frames as per usual for you to put the pictures in. And of course, all the pages are perforated. So once you've done your beautiful works of art, you can tear them out and stick them up on the wall and display them for all to see. And then when you get to the end of your book, look. We've got a really cool certificate. You put your name in there and it says, this is to certify that your name is officially an amazing animal artist. Isn't that cool? The book is out right now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books, be it online or from your local bookshop, local bookshop, if you can, please. It was so much fun to put this book together. I really, really loved doing it. I really, really hope you love the book too. I think 
If you like these videos, I think you're gonna love this book, to be honest, so get yourself a copy. If you do, let me know what you think of it. Right, I better let you go. You've gotta get on with your day, haven't you? I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, everybody, keep those pencils sharpened, keep on drawing, keep on reading, and take care. Bye-bye.